A fashion faux pas. The wrong sweater or lipstick can make you look tired, pale, even older. Well, here to color you beautiful and pick the perfect you, color consultant Jill Kirsch. Thanks so much for coming hey, on Nate, today. Thanks for having me. You've got some beautiful models, and you're going to show us why it's so important that your hair color designates what colors you should wear. Absolutely. Your hair color frames your face. So you have to work it. So if you change your hair drastically, the makeup colors and the clothing colors need to be changed up to pull it all together. All right. And with ladies, you know, we never change our hair color. Oh, so no, yeah. not at all. Never, never, never. <laughs> well, um, so introduce all these ladies to me. Okay. This is my fabulous deep brunette, Tamara. And this is a beautiful ash blonde, Diana. And this is a fabulous redhead with all the different color highlights in it, Mary. And this is our gorgeous golden blonde, Marcy. All right, so as people are watching this morning and saying, my gosh, I, I always thought it was the, the winter, the no, fall. No, no. You know, we, okay, we don't do any of that anymore. <laughs> Let's go down the line. Talk about Tamara and what colors suit her and why. Well, I was going to show. Please. Tell. Okay, basically everyone can wear every color. It just depends on the right shade of the color for you. So what I did was I brought different shades just so you can see the difference. So if you come in and you look closely at Tamara in that purple, Okay, now look at that's more of like an orchid. Now watch the difference. Bam. You see? There she is. Yeah. Much more sculpted jawline, much more present looking. Now watch. You see, she just kind of fades and the, her face looks fuller, which it's so not, right? But just look how much more angular. So a deep, rich color with someone who's got dark hair. Yes, yes. And beyond just a, the deep color, she can do all of these kind of colors, which are the jewel tones, the true, clear crayon colors, the very vibrant colors, and once you find out which colors work for you, every color within your palette can mix and match with each other. Okay, and quickly, what color should Tamara stay away from? Uh, tans, olive green, camel, which would be wonderful for someone else down the line. Yes, okay, yeah. well we, we got the dark hair covered. Okay, good. So, when someone's hair color is a platinum or a white blonde, they definitely don't want to do this kind of color, which is that very warm yellow toned green. They want to go much more toward, oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, that's just props when you put that up there, it does. It's so amazing. I mean, I've been doing this a long time and it still amazes me. Look at that. Now watch. Now, you see that it makes the hair look off. It makes the skin tone look yellower. Much, much better. And while we're talking colors too, what sort of makeup would go with, the, with her hair color best? Okay, well, the makeup colors are based on all of these tones. And so I've done these customized makeup palettes based on each of the color groups. Mm -hmm. So you see, you take the colors into the clothing and then bring it up into the makeup. Oh, that's so the so idea is, do you see what I mean? Yeah. What you're wearing brings out your face, brings out your hair. So everything is pulled together. Beautiful. Let's get to the gorgeous redhead. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Now, here we have a gorgeous redhead with blue eyes, but I want to show you something. The difference when you're wearing the right blue versus the wrong blue. That's a blue. Now, I'm Mary. No blue is going to look really bad. Can we see Mary <laughs> with that blue? Okay. Now, watch the difference when you get the right blue. Oh, wow. Do you see that? I do. It really so makes much her better. Eyes brings pop. out the eyes, the hair. Now, look at the difference. Totally washes her out. Makes the hair look a bit brassier. Whereas here, it's fabulous. All right. Fabulous. And we'll get down to, the, to, to our lovely blonde down there, but I have to ask you, does skin tone come into play at all? Not as much as hair color. Okay, if someone wants to do a one-on-one -on -one consult with me and they want to know what to do with their hair, then I can bring out the skin tones, the eyes, the whole thing. But when someone gives me this, I'm going to show them how to make it all work together. And people change up their hair color all the time. Well, and there's, you know? a, there's a few blondes in San Diego, I've heard. Oh, you think? <laughs> Okay, here's Marcy. As opposed to Diana, Marcy is a much more golden, a much warmer blonde. And I wanted to show you something different on Marcy. People say, oh, I can wear, you know, neutrals, brown, okay? Look at that brown. Now, that's a very taupey kind of brown. It has a lot of gray in it. Just when you change it up and warm it up, look what happens to Marcy. See? Yeah, that's a lot Look at this. Oh, it's That's a lot fabulous. richer, Jill. So much. Now, watch the difference between that. And that. It makes the hair look yellower. Yeah. This is way too gray. It's aging a bit. Now so watch. We, I love it. Really, really love nice. love it. It's amazing. What is so fantastic is that you are giving away to one of our uh, yes. San Diego Living viewers a free consultation because color styling is so important and if we've been doing it wrong, it's going to turn us around like that. I am. I'm very excited about that because what they're also going to get is one of my swatch books. And this is like you don't leave home without type thing. <laughs> you take the shopping mm -hmm. and you match up all your colors and you can shop 
inexpensive, you can shop expensive, it doesn't matter. When you have all the right colors, Great. it works. Easy breezy, ladies, thank you so much. You look beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And Jill, thank you so much. Thank you, Renee. Good, good advice.